All right, so hello everyone. It is uh, about 10.30 at night, and today we realize that we have greenhorn worms, or tomato worms. I'm not sure the actual name, but I think it's green greenhorn worms. And I was reading on a homesteading group that you can use a black light to identify them very easily. So again, I'm a refrigeration worker and we use black lights and these glasses to locate a dye that we put in to try and find leaks in the refrigerant lines. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna have a look. So it, let's check out here how well it works. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this lens over top of the camera lens and then flash the flashlight on it. And then you can see the difference. But actually first, let's do it with just this flashlight on the phone so you can see it. So I located one earlier. See, now I can't find it with a flashlight. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's one. Okay, so, Nicola. So this is one right here. They, they blend in very, very, very well. That's it right here. So, let's have a look at it with the black light. That's turned off. And then this is it with just the black light on. And you can see there, that it starts glowing green. So let's put over top. You can see it really does glow a whole lot. All right, so that's kind of cool. So, anyway, it's just a real quick video um, I wanted to make. I thought that was really cool. So we're gonna continue here. We're gonna find them, and then we'll show you at the end how many we ended up with. There are so many that I can now see, um, and then we're gonna try and feed them to the chickens. We also heard that the chickens really, really like it. So we'll see. Okay, so how hilarious is this? Nicola just grabbed this <laughs> just for a container and look at the name of it sour neon worms <laughs> but like look at that isn't that absolutely disgusting <laughs> like that's got to be three inches long and probably a th I don't know three three-eighths to a half inch thick but yeah just full absolutely full of them it's interesting when when we are outside you, you can hear them you can literally hear them just munching down on the leaves so we thought we would put some we just broke off a tomato leaf in there. We thought we'd put some in there just to keep them alive. And then we'll put them in the refrigerator. And I don't know if this is, if my local pet store would, is going to want to accept these or not, but I know that they do sell them. So they're fantastic for reptiles. Bearded dragons just absolutely love them. Um, so we'll punch some holes in here so they can breathe. And we'll see how it goes. So that was just a quick video, an impromptu video um, that we were reading. Mom came out, she noticed them there. And so then we knew that they were in the garden. And I actually saw on a home setting group, someone had mentioned that they had them. And then another person said a black light really shows up. So what a difference if, uh, if you can get your hands on a black light uh, it makes spotting them super, super simple. I'm not sure if you can get what I use uh, for my work on Amazon. It's possible. I'll search on Amazon, and if I can find one, I'll drop a link in the description below. But I tell you, what a difference. So, so easy to find them. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed that video. We really enjoyed making it, going hunting for them. We're going to see if the 
chickens uh, will feast down on them. But uh, yeah, we'll check you on the next one.